guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So if you guys haven't seen the video, I'll put it in the top right corner for you guys. I changed my front grill to the open carbon fiber grill. Um, and basically there's no emblem or area to mount it. And the only option out there that people have is from charge speed. So this is the charge speed mount. Basically it just gets sandwiched between uh, the actual grill, like the mesh and uh, this piece back here. So you just clamp it between the grill and then you're able to run an emblem. Otherwise, you know, there's no spot for it. And you, you know, you don't have to run it. Normally, I mean, I really do like this grill without the emblem on it, uh, but I figured I would try this out, see if I like it. If I don't, I can take it off. Uh, this piece was $45 and then shipping and everything it came out to 65 bucks. I mean, it's made of fiberglass, as you can tell. It's nothing crazy quality. Uh, the finish is pretty, it's not that great. Uh, but the nice thing is it's going to be sitting back far, so you're not going to be able to see this. I was thinking about painting it, doing like a gloss black or something. Most of the rough finish is going to be hidden by the actual emblem. So this is just going to sit on here like this, and it's going to look like that on the actual grill. What you're going to need to do is remove the front bumper so you get access behind the grill or behind the mesh to mount this. Uh, so that is what we're going to do. Um, and then get this mounted up and uh, show you the overall outcome. I think I'm going to like it. I really do like the look without the emblem, as I said, uh, but I wanted to give this a try and see if it kind of cleans things up a little bit and makes it uh, look a little bit more complete. So let's get the bumper off and I'll start installing this. And I'll kind of talk you through it and kind of my thoughts and everything and uh, we'll see how it looks. at as you can see i have the sti badge down there but no emblem i still think it looks really good but adding the emblem in the middle might like i said might just clean things up kind of just finish it off um, some people say it looks unfinished like this me personally i really do like this look without the emblem i think it looks really aggressive and nice but again i just wanted to see what it would look like with the badge as well one thing that i really did like about the 15 to 17 bumper is the grill actually sat back more much like this one the new one, the 2018 plus, the grill actually sits forward, like the actual mesh part. So the emblem actually sticks past the bumper. It kind of, you know, comes this way more. So it looks a little goofy. So I really like how it's recessed in the back. That's what I really like about this style grill. So it'll kind of nicely fit the badge back into the into the mesh area and kind of be hidden. But at the same time, you know, it's, it's going to look clean and OEM plus like. So let's do test fit with the charge speed mount, see how it looks, and then we'll uh, mount it up. It's very simple. It's just two screws in that bracket. I guess the hardest part is just trying to find the center, but we'll do some trial and error and see what looks best. So just to kind of go over quickly how this mounts, um, if you can see, there's two holes right here. It comes with screws and some bolts down there. You can you can kind of see them over there. Uh, basically, you're just going to slide these into the holes there, um, and then you're going to go to the back slide, slide this through the mesh, and then there's this bracket. You're going to slide that on to the screws right here. I'm trying to do this without really looking, but you get what I mean. <laughs> Basically, it's going to look like that. It's going to sandwich itself between the grill and the actual bracket, and then we're just going to tighten the screws on here, uh, and we'll be able to tighten it up to the actual grill. So again, very simple install, but it's just a matter of finding the middle. So we'll do some trial and error, and hopefully we'll get it centered. All right, so I think I got it in the center position. Basically what I did was measured between that corner and, sorry, and this corner, and it was 28 inches. So dead center is 14 inches. So I just kind of went by that, kind of lined it up, you know, up and down. And I think I hit the middle uh, just right. So I'm gonna take some quick measurements real quick just to make sure it's right where I want it. Just eyeballing it right now. Uh, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it looks pretty centered to me. Um, you know, I'm going to measure probably 57 times before I put it back on the car because I don't want to take the bumper back off just to adjust it, you know, one notch over or whatever. So <laughs> I want to make sure I got it right. Before I actually bolt it up, I'll go behind the bumper. I'll show you exactly, you know, just how to install it and how you tighten everything down. Uh, but I just want to make sure I got it centered first. So one second. So I'll try to get you a little bit of a close up, but I'm going to put the tape measure across. 
So I'm just going from the corner to the corner and we're at 28 inches exactly. Um, so there's actually a little notch right here in the emblem mount um, and it's directly centered with 14 inches. So that's a good, a good spot to go off of how to center it. The bottom and the top each has one kind of slat or mesh between it. So I think we're dead set in the middle, which is perfect. So let's go around to the back and tighten everything up with the bracket. And, uh, and yeah, we'll be done. And we just got to put some double-sided tape on to put the emblem on and we'll see how it looks. So far, I'm liking it. I think it's going to look really good. All right, so as you can see, the little screws are sticking in the back. This is the bracket that you're going to use in the hardware. So all we're going to do right now is I'm going to slip the bracket over. Take a washer, another washer, and screw it down. Now these are nylon locking, locking nuts, so they'll definitely stay tight. All right, so we're all mounted up. One thing you want to note is you don't want to screw that in too much. It doesn't really need to be that tight. You know, this is metal and this is fiberglass, so you can over tighten it and crack things. So you want it firm, um, but nothing crazy tight. It's not going anywhere. It's super, super in place. Looks really good. Go around to the front. There we go. Definitely nice and centered, which looks really good. Um, so now basically I'm just going to wipe off, um, you know, right here with some IPA, get it all cleaned up, get some, uh, 3M double-sided tape, which is actually supplied, line everything up and stick it on. So definitely liking this so far. I think it's gonna really complete the grill and look finished and OEM plus, which is what I'm always after. definitely the way to go. <laughs> I think it looks really clean. I mean, it looks a little weird right now because there's so much light behind the grill. Uh, but once it's on the car, I can assure you it's going to be pretty awesome. So it looks really, really clean. Very OEM-like. Looks really good. Really happy with that. Again, it was pretty expensive for what it was, but I mean, like I said, nobody's really making these. I haven't found anything else. I'm surprised nobody has tried to 3D print these or something for much cheaper. Really, really clean. It looks like it was supposed to be there. I think a lot of people will be happy. <laughs> Not that I'm doing this for other people, I'm doing this for myself, uh, but I know a lot of people are asking me to, to put an emblem on here or if I was thinking about doing it, and, um, and I think you guys are right. So definitely cleans it up, looks really clean. But let's get it back on the car. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to really get a good clean shot of it on the car because it's in the garage, uh, but I'll try to get some angles just so you can see, but really, really happy with that. All right, there we go, guys. All mounted up. Looks really good. I'm really happy with the overall result. I think it looks much much cleaner, much more finished, as I said. I like to look both ways on the grill, you know, with the with the emblem or without. Uh, but with the emblem, I think it looks a little bit cleaner. It kind of goes with my theme of my car a little bit more. It looks a little bit more OEM plus, as opposed to the more aggressive, you know, just completely open grill. Uh, but either way, you know, the nice part about it is it, if I get tired of it, I can just take it off and just run it without it. But I'm definitely going to be rolling with it for, for now. I really do like it. I think it looks really clean, very OEM-like. And like I said, it's kind of recessed, so it's not popping out or anything like that. Looks really nice and just kind of hidden in there. Very OEM Plus-like option. So that is it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions about the emblem or anything else in the car, be sure to ask below. But in the meantime, keep it clean. Keep it simple. Catch you in the next one.